fascinating with Mr. Arkwright? So that is the Diabolic Core. <laughs> Looks like my theory proved true. The Core will soon be made whole once again. Though I'm afraid my curiosity is getting the better of me. I think I will perform an early test run. <laughs> A malevolent god? Just like the tyrant. No, this thing's on a whole other level. Overwhelming is what it is. Not bad. Not bad at all. If this is merely a taste of the power I will soon wield, then I cannot wait to see what I can do once the core is whole. <laughs> Even the society's strongest enforcer will be nothing more than an ant at my feet. Call on the Grendel? But Mara's not here to assist. Oh, I don't think she's gone anywhere. She's probably just slacking off and taking a nap. Get your ass out of bed, Mare Bear! Stop being a lazy bum and do your damn job! Oh, you didn't have to make such a racket. And for the last stinking time, stop calling me Mare Bear! Mare! She woke up. Oh, what are you talking about? I was awake this whole time. I've just been kind of out of it while I was repairing myself. So, that's what you're up against. You've come a long way. Still can't remember who you really are, but I do know the role you've always fulfilled. So like I said earlier, I need you to do your damn job. Sure, I can do that. But is that really what you want? Yeah. That's exactly what I want. Wait a moment. What are you doing? Uh, did you say roll? What does that mean? Well then, Van. Will you wake from your dream? Or not? <sighs> Just, what is she saying? I will. I'll wake up. Damn, no! You can't! These fragile chains guide me to this realm, where I am now made manifest. I am both the nightmare and the beast that devours it! This is resonance or gnosis at work, but either way, I'm quite surprised. <laughs> so that's what kind of drug that was. Interesting. Well, whatever. It's about time we wrap this up. I'm kind of curious to see which of us befits it the most. How about we go toe to toe and find out? Very well. Have it your way. I will gladly devour both you and your restraints. 
You have sealed your fate, Van Arkrid! Nah, you sealed yours when you stole my shit. And I'm about to take it back! Here goes! <laughs> Feel the true extent of my power! Begin reset! Cobalt curtain! Activate! Miss Lannister! No chance! Darkness! Consume everything! Eat this! Vital's falling! Yeah. I shall handle this! Focus unleashed! Pressure him and Engaging skills! You'll never get There's nothing I can't swipe. Grimcat, coming your way! Now or never! The shit's good. Swift? Now it's my turn. Activating sweeper! This is it! Lightning! Take that! You saved me! 
I need some help, Bearguard! Focus unleashed. It's in your hands! I'm on the scene! Pressure him and move it! Blaze! Breathe on to us! We consume them! It's go time! Goodness, it's finally over. <laughs> I was so close. Now that I have been parted from that monstrosity, I finally understand just how abominable it truly is. I'll bet no human should ever have this thing. But I'm not gonna apologize to you ever again. Rightfully so. I have always acted in accordance to my own way of living. Just as you do. You may have won this fight, but my ultimate desire will still be realized by your hands. What? Oh no. I already know for a fact that Gehenna does not exist. But I'll still leave you with these parting words. I will be watching you from its depths, Van Arkride. It won't be long until you become a living embodiment of fear itself. Wait a second. What did he mean? Van! Throw that damn thing away! Now! Too late. I've got no choice but to return it to where it belongs. It vanished? No. It simply returned to Mr. Arkwright. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Sorry to spring this on you, on yes, but I'm not going to be able to finish your request. Though I doubt you'll need me. With all of you on the case, you'll find the last Genesis in no time. Just to be safe, though, I did draw up a list of places I think it might be. Hope that'll help. It's one of the five who leads the 77 Devils. Its name is Vagrant Diaspora. Well, guess it's time for me to bounce. I'll leave the rest to you guys. Oh, and could someone do me a solid? Tell Elaine I'm sorry I can't buy her those drinks, like I promised. Take care of them for me, Master Barkhorn. I'm counting on you. You damn son of a bitch! No, don't go! What just happened? I'd like to know the same thing. Wait, is that... Mr. President? How long have you been there? <laughs> My apologies. This was meant to be a surprise for you all. I hope everyone is enjoying the festival. As I said before, let us make this a celebration to remember. Yes, sir, Mr. President! We love you, President Bramhard! Glory to Calvert! I'm sorry, but I will ask that you keep your distance from the President. Thank goodness. You're all okay. You really did it. <laughs> I wish I could have been there with you all, but... Wait. <sighs> he did it again, didn't he? That idiot. He left us behind. No! He hasn't left us! Not yet! What do you mean? His hollow setting screen! Uh, are you thinking of... It's no good! It's not reacting! Fine! I'll do this then! Mare, please wake up! We need you! Oh! What? Uh, stop yelling! I already told you that I'm awake! Mayor, you have to tell us where Van's gone! Please, we're begging you! If you're here, that has to mean he's close by, right? What? R really? That, that does make sense, actually. 
Van is the only one capable of calling Mayor normally. All this time, she has been watching over him for some unknown reason. No, perhaps it's more accurate to say she's monitoring him. So if she's still active, that means... Yes, that's correct. He's still here in this dimension. However, he has already made his choice. He has decided to free himself of his restraints, or the Grendel as you call it, and accept the power that is rightfully his. Now a world-devouring demon lord lingers inside him. He chose to seal it away within the void, and himself with it. Bastard! How could he do that? Okay, it's a promise. But I want you all to remember that we ain't heroes of justice. There's no shame in turning tail if things go to shit. The fate of the world's important and all, but our lives are too. We ain't gonna throw them away. Know your limits, and don't worry about what's black or white. That's the Spriggan Creed, and we're gonna follow it like always. And once we've returned the city to normal, life will all go back to the way it was. And that'll pay for all the sweets and sauna trips we could ever want. Every word that came out of his mouth was a lie. This is a flagrant violation of our contract. I will not stand for it. I... I'm gonna punch him so hard, he's in for the pummeling of the century. I easy, everyone. I had an inkling about what he was trying to do. I suspected that he harbored guilt about remaining in this world. In the distant past, five demon lords were added to the 72 devils that resided in Gehenna. And it was at this moment when the world was rewritten. At least that is what I and the church believe. Regardless, I can only imagine how he felt when he learned that he was one of those demon lords. You mentioned that before. You're making all this shit up. No way! It's a closely guarded secret, even within the church. But its veracity can be proved. It accounts for the discrepancies between the records from before the Great Collapse, which are kept in the primal grounds, and after. The being that resides within Van is called the Vagrant Demon Lord. The Book of Ezra describes it as a being that is imbued with the power of black time. One of the Dominions told us of that book. So that's Van's story. However, I did not know of his true desire, nor did I see the depths of his despair. No man is an island. Every human must rely on others, and Van is no exception. But I see now that I did not make him realize as much. And that is my greatest failing as his master. So, I implore you, Mayor, grant them the opportunity to confront my fool of a student, so they may voice their complaints to him directly. You're overwhelming me! Stop it! Okay, okay, I'll help! Even if I really shouldn't, considering I'm a... I'll at least give you a hint, though. Go to the place that he has the strongest emotional attachment to. You'll find him there. There isn't much time left before he's gone for good, so if you want to go after him, you'd better hurry. You should go with them, too. Right. I can't find him anywhere. But if he's not here... Then where the hell could he be? Aramis? No. After all that's happened, I'm sure... 
Could he be on the rooftop, perhaps? I remember him talking up there during the party. Is he partial to that spot at all? That must be it! Let's go on, yes. Right! You can't leave us, Fan! You can't! Don't you dare disappear on us! You aren't getting away from- It'll be okay. He's going to be fine, I'm sure. Your friends are here to bring you home. <sighs> Just what I needed. He really is up here. Thank you, Mare. <laughs> hmm, this must be a barrier that analyzes those who try to walk through it, and will only let people from Arkwright Solutions pass. Aw, if I'd known this was going to happen, I'd have tried sneaking my way into a job, too. I'm so sorry, Elaine. Don't worry about it. I'll leave this in your hands. Just give them a big smack for us. All right? You got it! Then let's do this! <laughs> <laughs> 